Feeding your cat the right amount of food is a serious, but important task. A vet will often warn of feline obesity, but a cat that's underweight can also be a cause of concern. You have to be extra careful with underweight cats. If you suspect that your cat is losing weight too fast, get in contact with a vet. If they confirm that your cat is underweight, try to take their advice seriously. It's smart to stay updated on your cat's healthy weight. How can you tell if they're underweight? In this video, we will talk about how to tell if your cat is underweight and what steps to take. But before we get into the video, if you would like to learn more about your pets and get useful tips and guides about your dogs or cats, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we constantly bring you useful info that will help you be a better pet owner. Let's get started. Firstly, you don't need to hold your cat on a weighing scale or try to weigh them in order to see if they're underweight. To find out for sure, try rubbing your hand along their sides. Cats have a lot of ribs, so if you can feel them with your hand and they're very pronounced, it means that they're underweight. If you run your hand along your cat's spine, the bony bumps on the vertebrae should feel pretty obvious. If a cat's ribs and backbone are visible, it may be an indication of being underweight. However, keep in mind that different breeds of cats may have a natural variation of body shape. Next, check their gums. A healthy cat's gums should be a deep pink color and not look like they have receded. Also check for any signs of dehydration such as sunken eyes, dry mouth, and lackluster coat. A healthy cat has a coat that is full and lustrous. If your cat's fur is thin, dull, or patchy, then they might be underweight. Remember, healthy cats should eat at least once per day and should not go more than three days without eating anything. If your cat seems hungry all the time or is eating less than usual, then they may be underweight. These tests are just to give you an idea of what's going on with your cat. A vet can perform a clinical exam and run more tests to get the accurate diagnosis. In case you suspect that your cat is underweight, here are a few steps to verify whether it is indeed the case. First, try to find out if they are eating enough. If they are not, the best thing to do is to find ways to make sure they are still getting the calories they need. They could be doing this for a number of reasons but if they stop eating entirely, then it's time to find a vet and take them in for an examination. Next, if your cat eats their food right away, make sure you are giving them the correct amount of food. Your vet is always the best source for finding food and serving sizes that are right for your cat. Cat food nutrition charts can give a general idea for your cat, but it's best to speak with your vet for a more personalized input specific to your cat's needs. Be mindful not to overfeed your cat because this can cause it to become obese. In particular, indoor cats are more vulnerable to this condition. If you think your cat's diet is okay, but they're underweight, it's time to go and see your vet. Have you ever found out that your cat was underweight? What steps did you take to get them back to a healthy weight? Please let us know in the comments below. If this video was helpful to you and you would like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to also leave a like below.